Everybody. Uh, my name is Jose, I'm from Prague, and I like beer. On top of that, I'm a former software engineer who now are kind of ended in the recruitment industry. Recruitment industry is pretty competitive industry. Usually with this picture, I describe how it looks like, especially in the Czech Republic. Czech Republic is probably the most overheated market in terms of uh, recruitment because Czech Republic has the lowest unemployment rate within the whole EU. Those people behind, uh, behind the fence are not candidates who would like to catch up uh, one day recruiter. Those are recruiters who are trying to catch their one candidate. If I'm now back to software business, I will be receiving easily five headhunting calls, emails, LinkedIn messages every day. On top of that, uh, there is a problem with reputation of recruiters. If we ask Google what Google thinks <laughs> about recruiters, <laughs> it's pretty nasty, right? So we need to fight against this. Uh, today's recruitment is not about job advertisement. If we put our job advertisement, it usually for IT roles, marketing roles, and so on, it doesn't work at all, or it's it's very it's very weak pipeline. So we usually call it uh, post and pray that we post a job ad and we are praying for those CVs which are not coming. This needs to change uh, to so-called talent sourcing, or we can call it unbound recruiting as well, where we are going to the market to grab those CVs uh, from to do, grab those profiles, grab those uh, candidates from the market. We need to engage with them in terms of recruitment. Basically, it means that. Uh, imagine it's easy. I, I can, if, I, if you open LinkedIn, you can easily find thousands of developers, but the problem is to speak with them. There are other subjects, maybe like health, healthcare, finance, and so on, where engaging is not that much a problem. The problem is find enough people because the digital footprint is, is weak for these people. LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is not only about recruitment. LinkedIn is about social selling. It's about promoting your personal brand. It's about promoting your employer brand as well. Uh, currently, it's the biggest professional network uh, on the planet with over 450 million users. In the Czech Republic, it's something like 1.2 million and 14th, the most visited website uh, on the internet. Uh, I'm the founder of Good Call. Uh, me and my business partner founded Good Call two and a half years ago. And over that period of time, we contacted over 34,000 unique LinkedIn users. Uh, out of that, we were able to send almost 6,000 unique LinkedIn users to our clients, like a candidate. And of course, we, we don't use just LinkedIn. LinkedIn for us, uh, as a source of hire, as the pipeline, a source of hire is almost 60%. Of course, there are other networks, Facebook, Twitter, uh, there is uh, GitHub, Bitbucket, if you are looking for UX UI people, we will definitely uh, touch on Dribble, Behance. Uh, we can go anywhere, we can go to Tinder as well. Uh, we can go to, uh, to offline world. We, we recently hired one Uber driver uh, who, was, uh, who basically ended up uh, at some IT company working as IT guy. So that's, that's all possible. Uh, the average response rate is something like 36%. So if you are throwing messages through LinkedIn, uh, just text messages or emails, it, it doesn't matter, you will get roughly uh, this percentage. If you are looking for IT people, it will go down to something like for, uh, 5%. If you are looking for people from, for example, finance, accounting, uh, and so on, you can go even up to 70%. One case study, uh, CSOB Bank, uh, which is part of the KBC group, uh, the goal was to hire as much as possible uh, of uh, so-called insurance advisors. Uh, we located around 1,700 uh, on, the, on the LinkedIn, 
uh, out of that, we were able to get 700 on the long list, which means that there is some interest uh, from their side to like uh, to to speak about the about the position. Out of that, we gather 30 CVs, 28 interviews, and you can see at the end of the funnel uh, there are seven people. The problem is the duration of the sourcing. Over 400 hours spent just on finding those people on LinkedIn, sending messages, calling them. I'm not counting interviewing those people. That was the part of the, uh, of the chess or by bank. So imagine the situation five, ten years ago. Chess or bank normally put their advertisement and just receiving CVs. Time-wise, it was something like 10 minutes. Now it's over 400 hours. So this really needs uh, like to, uh, to, to change the whole uh, recruitment funnel uh, in industries in uh, general. Google, of course, strong brand, and you would maybe say that uh, companies with a strong brand uh, has easier job uh, doing this. Google is receiving 2 million CVs every year, which is something like 10,000 every day, and still needs uh, to do this proactive uh, sourcing. A few of my employees were contacted by Google, so I exactly know what, what they are putting into those messages. It's no rocket science. So even Google needs to do that. One case study from Siemens. Siemens, we can say huge brand as well. Uh, but they have a team of embedded software engineers doing some work for Audi and for some uh, intelligence railway stations in Germany, for example, and so on. Working with uh, about 10 personal agencies, basically the pipeline of candidates were zero. The problem was that the embedded software engineers didn't know that Siemens is doing such a things. So what we did is that we created a career video with one of their employees, a video with, with their uh, head of the team. We created a group on LinkedIn called Embedded Development CZ Plus SK. And we were luring those candidates not to the company, but to the group, because the commitment of going to group is, is definitely less than uh, going for an interview, for example. Uh, we were able, within three months, uh, from the pool, you can see that there are uh, roughly 600 people of such sort uh, on the LinkedIn. So we were able to hire four people out of that. How to increase the response rate from that, uh, something like 36%, how to increase it more? No more job opportunity. Uh, if I'm back in my software engineering uh, days, and I'm a software engineer, all the emails which tries to recruit me somewhere would contain the word opportunity in the subject line. Great opportunity for you. Job opportunity for you. Here's the attractive opportunity for you. This doesn't work. There, there is the pattern, job opportunity. Basically, if I say, if I slide by my hand over the keyboard, I will get a better response rate than put there the word opportunity in the subject line. So you need to break the pattern. Uh, one way how to do that is to use a different format. So instead of using text messaging or like text in general, we do what we call video job descriptions. This is a company, 2N, technical company. They are doing these intercoms uh, for elevators and so on. And uh, we just took a mobile phone and created a short one to two minute video uh, with their hiring managers. Just with, this was for the product manager role, so just with this one. And he just said, uh, I'm Martin, I work here, we do this, and I'm looking for a product manager, uh, and so on. If, we, if he says the same thing which the recruiter would put uh, into the LinkedIn invitation or the email, this, was, uh, this would have a better response rate because uh, it's, it's unusual uh, and... Uh, it will create a difference. So you can see 13 qualified candidates. It's, it's quite short, short list. And within this 27 days, we were able to fill the role. Another example from actually here from Ostrava. Uh, this is uh, one of our recruiters because we also rent recruiters to companies. So Tieto, company here in Ostrava, uh, over 2,200 employees. Uh, Zuska was basically doing this, that she took a mobile phone and created a selfie style video, something like, hello John, uh, I find your profile on LinkedIn and I noticed that you are ECM uh, specialist and blah, blah, blah. You can see 20, 20 qualified candidates. This is Ostrava, so there are maybe not more 20 people who would be suitable for ECM role. 
so with this, uh, with this procedure, she was able to get up to 100. In this case, it was 100% response rate. Because all those engineers will say, like, wow, the attention like that somebody created video just for me, spent three minutes of his or her time by doing video just for me, that's great. I need to, I need to respond. Few examples from marketing, uh, just to, you to know how many people, for example, you need to have uh, in the funnel. Marketing manager for HealthSpy, you can see 35 people at the beginning of the funnel, quite like, let's say, average. JavaScript developer, you can see that the number skyrocketed over 100. So for the developers, you will usually have, the, uh, you will usually need to, need to contact hundreds of people. Digital marketer for Laurel, just for people at the beginning uh, of the long list. PHP developer for Economia. Again, this is extreme case. Uh, you can see also here uh, in, the, uh, in the first part, you can see how many people were actually working on that. So over 800 people we needed to contact to place that one guy at the end of the funnel. So on average, uh, you need 23, 23 people to contact to, to fill the role, but that's general. It's, if you are an IT company looking for IT roles, you can basically times, uh, time this by seven easily. That's it. Thank you very much.